Hey everyone welcome back. In today's video I'll show you how to create a Windows 11 bootable USB that works even on unsupported hardware. This method will remove Windows 11's hardware requirements like TPM and secure boot checks. So if your PC doesn't meet the official requirements, you'll still be able to install Windows 11 with this method. Before we start I have a small request, please like the video and subscribe to support the channel. Let's get started. First open your browser. In the search bar type Windows 11 ISO and press enter. Open first website. Once you are on the website scroll down. You will find a section that says download Windows 11 disk image. From the drop down select Windows 11 ISO file and click confirm. Then choose your language and again click confirm. Finally click 64-bit and your ISO file will start downloading. Now we will need another tool called Rufus to make our USB bootable. Open a new tab and search for Rufus. Open first website and download its latest version. Once both files are downloaded, open your downloads folder. Now open Rufus. You need an 8GB or larger USB flash drive. Plug it in PC, it will automatically select the USB device. Now under boot selection click select, and choose the ISO file you downloaded. Here you have to choose your device partition style. To check your partition style, simply search system information on Windows search bar and open it. Here you will find BIOS mode. If it says UEFI then choose GPT, and if it says Legacy then choose MBR. After that leave all settings as it is and click start. Here's the important part. Rufus gives you an option to remove Windows 11's hardware requirements. When that pop-up appears, check the boxes to skip TPM and secure boot checks. This will allow you to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Now it will give some warnings. Click OK for all. Now Rufus will format your USB drive and make it bootable. Once done click close. Now if I open this PC, you can see our bootable USB is ready. This will allow you to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. And that's it, you've created a Windows 11 bootable USB for unsupported hardware. If this video helped you, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.